welcome to the special edition of Talk Time. My guest today is Mr. Mark Davies, a Oxford local historian, not to be confused with Professor Mark Davies. He's not from Oxford University, but he's a local historian chronicling the waterways, the pathways, and the commerce side of Oxford, the suburb, and of course, a member of, a family member rather, of the great 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 grandfather his great 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 grandfather thomas wood was among the first among the members of the first british contingent almost the first british contingent to have arrived in north east india particularly in assam and had surveyed the river brahmaputra that flows within assam uh, way back in 1790 Two. Uh, that is quite an interesting background of my guest uh, today, Mark Davis. Uh, Mark, welcome to Talk Time. Uh, very interesting background, apart from what you yourself do. Uh, you know, uh, I understand you still live in your boat uh, uh, in Oxford, and you have written, you have lectured around the world. It's very interesting uh, things you bring out in your talk and your writings on Oxford, on the River Thames, the mystery, the myths surrounding the river and the area around that. And you are also trying to link up your ex vast experience in a very interesting lecture that you are going to give during this edition of uh, Naturenomics organized in Guwahati. And your topic, uh, which you have already lectured, uh, will be Alice in Himalayan Wonderland. I want to know a lot for my <laughs> viewers from you. Is you your plate is full, actually. <laughs> Where shall we start? Uh, what, uh, the... you, you, you better start with uh, what you do, and then we'll come back to your links to Assam and to India. OK. Well, you have mentioned the boat. Uh, I do have this rather unusual uh, home in Oxford. Uh, I'm not unique. There are uh, 100 or more people who live on boats and that it was that pure chance that was a, a decision that happened by accident really okay uh, and from that I became very interested in the waterways of Oxford mm -hmm. uh, that's my starting point um, you may know people know the name Oxford but they probably don't think about the fact that it is Ox Ford the Ford is the shallow crossing of the river, of course. So Oxford is watery from its very, very beginning, uh, as indeed is yeah. Alice. So I have um, looked at the, the history uh, of Oxford, but also the cultural history. And amongst the huge number of novels that are written about Oxford yeah. and in Oxford, Alice is the most famous. Uh, but Lewis no, Carroll. Lewis mm -hmm. Carroll's Alice, mm -hmm. yeah. Alice, mm -hmm. Alice, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Yeah. Um, by looking at it from uh, the viewpoint of the river, as a historian of the river, I, by chance, discovered a lot of new information about this story. Yeah, but that's quite interesting because, you know, around the world, when you, when you use the word Oxford, everybody thinks about the university they do. They and do. nothing more than that. Yeah. So how difficult has it been for you over the years to explain uh, to people who come and see you that there are a lot more to Oxford than just the university? It's a place, uh, it's the, as you talked about the crossing, uh, about the waterways, the pathways, and it's a calmer side of that mad rush that you see in London. Y yes, you could say it is a very sedate city, I think, in many ways. It's very small, yeah. you know, it's world famous, but uh, it's small because the rivers, uh, the rivers prevent the flooding, uh, you know, and that's, uh, flooding is something that you will be familiar with in Assam, I suspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so here we've got that connection. The threat of flooding is always there. Yeah, uh, it, it's, when it's true. When will the Thames overlap, over top its banks? Uh, yes, it's controlled uh, mm -hmm. now, but, mm -hmm. but it still prohibits the city from expanding. Uh, yeah, so um, how difficult, you asked the question about how difficult, it's not very difficult because there are hundreds of people who know lots about the university. Yeah. There are very few, actually, who look at the other side of Oxford. That brings me to the question, Mark. Uh, what are some of the unknown facts which, uh, you know, uh, people may not know about Oxford? Uh, we're all Two to three highlights. Oh, help, help. Um, yes, that's a, a good question. Um, it was there before the university. Uh, yeah. It was a, a very successful trading city. The we have the name from uh, the year 912. That's the earliest written uh, reference to yeah. Oxen Ford. Uh, and it grew as a, as a trading center, which was fine until the university arrived and tilted the balance a bit of, uh, uh, yeah. of local trade. So there was resentment from the very beginning, and that has gone through the centuries. So you have 
what we call town and gown disturbances. Uh, gown is the university. Absolutely. Town is, yeah. is the, the ordinary people, if you like. Mm -hmm. And we have had this real conflict in the city for centuries. Uh, one other little thing I can tell you is that um, uh, Cambridge began as an offshoot of Oxford uh, because of these violent uh, confrontations. Uh, the students, or monks as they were at that time, yeah. had to leave Oxford completely uh, in, um, uh, in uh, 1209 and they stayed away for, for five years. Some did not return, they stayed at a place called Cambridge and that's the beginning of the Oxford and Cambridge. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, and now you know when you talk about uh, one of your very pet uh, projects or themes, if I may say, is uh, about Alice. Uh, you know, uh, even here, as I said in my introduction, Alice in the Himalayan Wonderland. But what you are doing basically is the wildlife of uh, Wonderlands, Alice in Waterland. That's how you name it. Because when Alice, like Lewis Carroll's heroine Alice visits Wonderland, she's confronted with, you know, plants, animals, all kinds of things. It's mm. a fantasy world, fine. Mm. But there's a lot of uh, reality uh, in that, uh, you know, talking about the river and so on. And how are you linking up that with, uh, uh, you know, do you think it has international relevance? Um, I, I hope so. International uh, it, appeal, rather. Oh, I, I think so, because the story does. Yeah, uh, the story it, does, it, of course. It is extraordinary to me uh, how many people from how many different countries and backgrounds uh, and beliefs and so on, uh, that you just say that one word, Alice, and there's recognition. I mean, it is extraordinary, isn't it? Yeah, um, imagination but, runs wild. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and yet, but yes, uh, what interests me, I am a historian. I like to think that I am uh, dutiful to the facts of history. Um, and the surprising thing to me even when I first started to realize that this was an Oxford story yeah. uh, was the, uh, the amount of reality uh, which underlies it. Uh, there is a lot of, huge amount of real history, real people, real places, real events, uh, all uh, muddled up and uh, reinvented yeah. in Lewis Carroll's very inventive mind. Uh, but, but the river, you see, the river is key, and it's the River Thames, I yeah. should explain to your viewers, uh, if you don't know, yeah. the same river which runs through London, uh, you know, the most important English river. Um, uh, uh, the river is, is absolutely key to the creation of the story in many ways that we don't have time to explore, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> please, absolutely. Please. <laughs> from, from somewhere underwater to the dizzy height of the Himalayas, we'll wait and watch how everything unfolds. On that note, we go for a short break. Stay on. When I come back, I'll talk to Mark Davis about his great, 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 great grandfather, Thomas Wood, uh, who had surveyed the Brahmaputra in 1792 to 94. It's a two-year exercise. And of course, one of the lineage, uh, one descent from where the Anglo-Indian community, as we call in India today, has uh, derived its uh, name. We'll talk about this and lots more.